Hello, it's been a minute. Um, I'm acting like I post every day and I have for years and I literally have posted like four videos and then stopped for like three weeks. Um, but it has been a minute. I went to Italy. It was incredible. Just the most amazing time and such a beautiful time to spend with family. Um, and it's kind of depressing to be back but also really good to be back in a lot of ways. America has a lot to offer, but Italy's just so beautiful. It's just not the same here. It's really not. Um, anyways, I just wanted to film because normally I post thrifting content and I think I'm gonna stop doing that. I just don't think I can do it anymore. I really feel like I have an issue. Like I have a problem. A shopping problem I just never feel like I have enough I'm always even though it's thrifting and it feels like okay I'm not spending that much money when you're going all the time you really still are contributing to consumerism and I feel like even though I'm not you know overspending I'm always using like my own fun money from my own budget to do that you know, to shop and to thrift, I still feel like I never have enough. And I hate that feeling. It's so icky. Like, it just makes me feel icky. And I know the feeling when I'm driving to Goodwill, I'm like, I feel so icky right now. I just, but then I'm like addicted to going shopping and to going thrifting and like treasure hunting for like, oh, I'm going to find the most amazing thing at the thrift store. And it's like, maybe, but maybe you'll spend two hours walking around and picking up a bunch of items and then putting them all back because you're afraid to spend money because one, you're afraid that you don't have cute enough clothes and then two, you're afraid of spending money because you're afraid that you don't have enough money. It's like this weird paradox where like, I'm trapped in my own mind, scared to spend money and also like desiring to have everything all the time that everybody else has. And it's like, I know that God has more for me than that? Like, I, like, did Jesus die so that I could live in the bondage of never having enough clothes and never having enough money all at the same time? No. Like, and then also just like never having enough time because I'm spending all my time in these stores. I have enough energy to go to the thrift store, but I don't have enough energy to meal prep. I have enough time to go to the thrift store, but I don't have enough money to do my laundry or to clean my toilet. Who wants a dirty toilet? I have an amazing closet full of clothing and a dirty toilet, okay? Like, nobody wants that. I don't want that. I just know that God has more for me in this life and I'm not walking in freedom and I wanna walk in freedom and I want to present a life to other people that shows you can walk in freedom from things. And so that's why I want to not post any more thrifting content. I think, yes, there's a healthy balance. You can go shopping in a healthy way. You can thrift in a healthy way. You can, you know, spend money in a healthy way, of course. But right now, I'm not in a healthy place. And so I need to figure that out for myself. You know, if I do go thrifting, I'm gonna try and make it every once in a while. Or pray about it first. Honestly, if if the Lord is okay with me spending money, then I'll spend money. And if not, then I won't. I just wanna live a life of complete obedience to Jesus. And that, in a big way, involves finances. I feel like I'm yelling at you, but I'm really, I'm just yelling at myself. Um, and I am sweating so much right now, but this is important. So yeah, if I go thrifting, I'm not going to post it. I just don't want to, I just don't want to contribute to this idea that like you have to follow every trend and you know, you'll be happy if you have the thing, the outfit that that girl on Pinterest has. Um, you'll feel better if you just have this one more thing. There's always, if you take one thing away from this, there is always one more thing that you can have. 
It's always going to be that one pair of shoes. It's always going to be that one dress. It's always going to be that one whatever that is for you. Nail polish, mascara, makeup. Like, I don't even, I wear makeup like once every three weeks. And yet I still get trapped into thinking, you know, I need to walk up and down the aisles at Target and put things in my cart and think like, oh, this shade of lipstick that I have 10 of, I literally only buy the same shade of lipstick every time I go just from a different brand. The, that's going to make me happy. That one thing is going to make me happy. If I can just get, you know, this brand of lipstick or if I can just get this brand of mascara, like, so that I can wear makeup once every three weeks? Like, is that really going to make me happy? Am I really going to let the lies of this world and Satan run my life? Am I? No. No. So... I'm sweating. Like I said, I need to get out of this car. I just wanted to put that out there. I love you guys. And um, I'm going to work on myself. I mean, we give me him. I'm, I'm just going to walk in freedom. And I hope that whatever that is for you, whatever, you know, you're going through, whatever you feel like you're in bondage to, you can just say, this makes me feel icky and I don't want to do it anymore. So I'm not. I'm done. I'm just not going to do it anymore. And I'm going to walk in the freedom that Jesus himself handed to me on a silver platter. So I just pray that for you. God, I pray that for them. Maybe I'll just post talking videos from now on. So we'll see. I'm going to go give my husband the sweatiest hug that's ever existed and try and keep my armpits down. Okay. Love you guys. Mwah.